Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So, last time we found out the location of the boss, but I am going to rest right away at the start of this one. I think we rested at the start of the last one, at the end of the last one as well, but I looked at our drain in terms of our abilities and I think it's worth doing one more rest. It also gives us a chance to see if there's anything more in the kingdom, which there should be in... Well, if I rested at the end of last time, one more rest, there should be something. So, let's see. Rest. Uh, yeah, go hunting as well. That's fine. Do I want cooking? I probably want to make a Ralt Ragu or similar. Or Galt Ragu. Can't make that one. Uh, cheese crostata. Uh, crease crust. Cheese crostata? Yeah, and we can make another one afterwards as well, which is nice. Right. We'll do that. And the reason I want to make that is because we're going through mountains, so it's going to take us a long time to travel. And I want to do it in one go. So, let's go. So we are going straight for the boss. There are a lot of minor things around the place, but we'll definitely be able to clear them up later. And I think I did my logic for this last time that going straight for the boss sh should be good. Ooh, expand the barony is our next build a king. Oh, so that must mean uh, it wants us to take another um, region slot, but we've now built our um, town. Does that mean I can make another, I can make us from a town to a city? Arrears, ah. Plus two loyalty. That's a disaster. Minus six economy, minus four stability. That's awful. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just awful. Village has developed into a town. We got two new map ones. Oris and Lamost. What can we do here? Ah, uh, we can just upgrade and just like upgrade on one of those. Um, I'm going to upgrade Oris because it's our first town. Uh, although, actually, let's have a look. That's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buildings. I just remembered we did a lot of building in Lamost. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I didn't know that you could click there. Interesting. And you can also see what your resources are. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that if you click on the actual name. Get a different. Well, if I click on like Oros, do I get a different view? How did I get it to show us the outskirts? I have to click on the actual bit there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Anyway. I checked Lamost here. Okay. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. We got a lot of shrines and things. Okay. So I say I think Oros probably has more room to grow. Because it's got more variety of buildings. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade it. There we go. It's upgraded to a town. Cool. Um. Wait. Can I? Why is it still like that? I guess I can't upgrade anymore. That's fine. Right. Disrupted Harmony. Uh, she's the only one who can do it. She's doing undead uh, sightings right now. So I think that means it's not getting done, right? Desana finishes in six days. Yeah, because this has to be done by the... Th oh, see, this has to be done by the third. There's a chance she does it. So, But yeah, can't do it right now. Cool. Done her kingdom stuff. Next person free is Lander. I didn't check her projects, but I don't think I need to because the only person free right now is Lindsay. Uh, so if I just update my list of people here, because I'm assuming everyone's gone forward that number of days. Because uh, it's two days since the previous one. Right. Sorry, give me a second here. The so next one that's going to be done is Lander in one day, followed by Tisana in four days. Okay. So we might get Lander before we go into this place, although this place is in the Tours of Levine. Of the Levines, so... How do I want to get there? I think I want to head straight down and head through Silverstep. Yeah, I think that seems like the best plan. It's only four hours, so... Let's see what we can do. Did they get any ability restore there? While we rested? That's what I really wanted to see as well. Not really, no. That was kind of a wasted rest then. Okay. Uh, I could grab that, but I don't need it right now. It's only one culture. Head along the edge. Lenorm's Grave. The giant skeleton of Lenorm, a gigantic monstrosity that somehow found its death in the Dunsward Plains. Wind and sun have whitened the bones of this majestic beast. Oh, Lenorm's a dragon. Yeah. The bleached ribs extend into the air like strange trees, and the moss-draped skull even now instills horror in the hearts of those who see it. The ground around the skeleton has been stomped flat by the mastodons that often wander these plains in search of food and shelter. Okay. Still not very worried about it. Continue heading south. With a shivering blade, even during warm weather, a traveller passing through this place would feel a supernatural chill crawl across their skin. On top of that, an eerie silence dominates the place. There are no bird songs, even the buzz of insects to be heard. Just checking. 
Yeah, we're all level 11. I think it's unlikely you're meant to be level 12 for this bit, so I think we're still fine. I was just thinking about that there. There was someone on the road. Ooh. Scripted random encounter, I think. Let's see what we got. Who's going to be on the road? A barbarian, maybe? That's my best guess. The raven? Potentially the raven. A small rabbit, perhaps? I just saved after the game auto-saved. It, it, it is the I'll definition of taking it just a little bit too far, isn't it? Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, Tristian. Uh, restoration on Lindsay. And... And four Charisma Drain back. That's perfect. That's the one I wanted, really, from her. And then maybe give Jubilos some ability restore. Yeah, and you got two you Con back. My assistance? That's actually pretty good. Con and that. Well, I mean, she's still low, three low and Con, but, you know, overall, pretty good ones to get back. I probably should have done Lindsay twice because she actually uses more of her stats, but whatever. The path is clear. Uh, up the hill? I guess. Ooh, some plants. Well, we'll grab some herbs while we're here. How big is this area? I should check that. Not very. Oh, I missed some edible moss. You know what? I'm not going back for it. Tread lightly. Uh, okay. So we got this bit up here. A bag with eggs in it. Okay, maybe I'm going back for the edible moss. Person on the road must be right there then. Hmm. Okay. Edible moss it is. Unless it's just the place to get eggs, flowers, and edible moss. Seems unlikely to me. Really? Oh, there we go. There's the raven. I've got a message for you. Okay. Interesting. The familiar blackbird flaps his wings and calls at you. It's time to pull off the masks and answer for your deeds. My master has seen enough, so he summons you. Come, kneel before this land's true ruler. Embrace suffering, embrace pain. Surrender your spirit to Vordekai, the chosen of the four horsemen, and the keeper of the Oculus of Abaddon. Okay, interesting. Abaddon, of course, being uh, the home of the demons, dominated by the Sistels of the four horsemen. Yeah, it's all pretty much, it's all lining up pretty much there. Yeah, kind of hell. So we can say Magar Varn was the ruler of these lands. What do you mean, seen enough? Chosen of who again? Hmm. You know what? I think we're friends with Magar. Let's just go with that. Magar Varn was the ruler of these lands. Your master stole something that didn't belong to him. Magar Varn and his minions were impostors without rights and honor. Soon, the Empire of Vordekai will rise from its thousand year sleep oh. and reclaim its lands. One such as you will serve this future in life or in death. That's where we've heard Vordekai before. Vordekai, I think we heard him in context of Cyclopses. Yeah, okay. Your master is responsible for what happened in Varnhold, I say obviously. Yes, and it was well-deserved punishment. One who dwelled in that town stole what was not his to possess. He trespassed in the Master's sanctuary, defiled it, and brought what he stole to the place you call Varnhold. By doing so, he incurred the wrath of my Master. So, I'm guessing that that person was uh, Megar Varn's wizard, but we'll see. Anyway, what well, happened to Varnhold? Where did everyone go? My Master's knowledge and power are great. The Oculus of Abaddon has granted him even greater power. It was the Oculus that brought about his revenge over the impious ones. Now, I'm not 100% sure what Oculus is, but some kind of like... I'm guessing it's kind of some kind of long-range vision thing. I don't know. Like, that's... I, I kind of imagine some kind of glass semicircle when I hear Oculus. I don't know. 
I also imagine some VR goggles, but I don't imagine that's what he's talking about. Anyway, what do you mean by seen enough? I'm the eyes and the ears of my master. Everything I see or hear, he sees and hears as well. All we speak of, all your deeds, nothing escapes my master. Okay, and the Chosen of who again? The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. The rulers of Abaddon, archdemons, harbingers of death and destruction. The greatest, the Horsemen of Death, Charon. Deemed Bordecai worthy and granted him a gift. The Oculus of Abaddon. Sorry, sorry, before we go any further, that's Charon. Okay, I gotta try and remember that one. Charon. That's definitely not how I would pronounce that, but, you know. We'll see, anyway. I'm not afraid of your master. Tell me where I can find him. Go to the Valley of the Dead. Pass the gates and face the challenges that await. If you survive, my master will meet you in his sanctuary. But what waits in the Valley of the Dead? The gates bar the entrance to the Valley of the Dead. Only the one who has the key or sacred knowledge can pass. Okay. Also, do we know anything more about the... Valley of the Dead? Okay, beyond the warning wall of Bone Totems, the valley doesn't seem much different than the surrounding fruit hills of the eastern stolen lands. Yet the further one travels towards the mountains, the more a strange feeling of oppression grows. The wind seems oddly muted as it flows through the trees and grass. The birds and insects grow quiet, and the unusually regular crags along the surrounding mountains seem almost to crouch in expectation of the traveler's approach. Once my master barred the valley from the outer world and the lesser races such as yours. Thus my master could focus upon his research and rule the empire without the pathetic rebellions and petty wars of your kind. Okay. You have a choice. Find three incense burners hidden in the tombs of traitors who imprisoned my master in his sanctuary, or conjure darkness, which is able to open the way to the Valley of the Dead. This way or another, you will be able to pass the gates, and my master will seal your fate. So the Fae were just trying to find a way to see Vordecai. Okay, interesting. But we thought they were trying to release him in some way, didn't we? Or release whatever the darkness was. Okay, I wonder what conjure darkness is. Or maybe if you're like a um, a cleric of a certain religion, you could darkness your way in or somehow? I don't like, maybe there's a spell that you can cast? Maybe if you somehow work with the Deface Sisters, not that we seem to have an option to do that, but maybe if we were evil, they would have opened up to us a little bit more? We could have done something that way. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I will come. I have no doubts about that. I'll meet you in the sanctuary. Wink, wink. Anyway, see you later, Raven. Always nice talking to you. Learn more about the Oculus. Um, are we going to learn more about the Oculus? Uh, perhaps Vordekai's Sanctuary will have some... Okay, well, we basically just go, go to the Sanctuary and find out. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, we can do that. I thought, like, maybe there'd be some kind of... Wait, we need to talk. Is now a good time? Because I was speaking, you know? Anyway, I thought there might be some kind of uh, kingdom event where it'd be like... Hey! Uh, send out, uh, well not Yod, but I guess it'd be Tisana to learn more about the Oculus. But maybe Tristian knows. What's the matter? The Valley of the Dead the Raven spoke of. I know it. An ancient evil is buried there, from empires since turned to dust. Being cautious is not enough. If you go there, you must tread quietly, or you shall awaken dark things indeed. Yeah, 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 whatever, we'll kill him. A tomb lies in the heart of the valley. That is where the evil sleeps. I know I cannot sway you from going, but if you must go, please let me help you. 
My faith may help when spells and steel may not. Yeah, sure. We travel together. I shall follow you to the Valley of the Dead. Okay. See, that kind of implies it might be worth bringing Harim as well. You know, bring in multiple religious people. If I was to bring in Harim, I have to ditch Amiri, which is a lot of damage, or I need to ditch Lindsay, which is a lot of... Yeah. I basically need to... Well, I could ditch Valerie, I suppose. Do I want to bring Harim instead of Valerie? That's an interesting concept. I haven't done double cleric. Uh, it's going to be a few days for us to switch. You want to sw but I think it might be worth it. He's, he kind of worships a god of, like, wanting people to die, doesn't he? So, how long does it take to swap? Three days. Three days means that Tasana will finish. Yeah, actually, I'm okay with that. Well, she'll be just about finished. Let's swap. So, I want to ditch Valerie for Harim. I know that he's a lot worse, but I think he might be better RP-wise. Got another Mun Guck Drunken Rage. Okay, well, you know. I love it, you know, obviously. So that's our party. It's very weird, but, you know, I'm ready to go. Ooh, what we got? Magic Circle. Okay. And in we go to the Valley of the Dead. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see what we got. I'm hoping that I made the right choice, bring along a lot of religious knowledge. We, in fact, in terms of knowledge, we've got it. We've got Lindsay and Jubilost for the world knowledge and kind of arcane law, uh, lore, I think. We have uh, ourselves for uh, some knowledge, I think. Also, what's our alignment? Neutral good. I think we started off lawful neutral, but yeah, neutral good is more where we've been. We, we, yeah, I see how we kind of moved from lawful good into neutral good. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of the way I thought it was going to go. But, um, right, if I check our, not biography, not abilities. Uh, uh, is it abilities? I've completely forgot. Oh, it's actually at the right-hand side. Yeah, we actually don't have any lore. But Harim comes with a little bit, a lot of lore religion. We got Amiri, has got ourselves lore and nature. We got Tristian, and brings along lore and nature and lore religion. We got, um, Lindsay brings along, uh, Knowledge Arcana, Knowledge World, and a bit of Lore Nature, Lore Religion if we need it. And then we got uh, Jubilos to brings us Knowledge of the World as well. So we got a lot of stuff that we can potentially use there. A lot of different kind of knowledges. How big is this area? Not very, so this is pretty much just a way in. That's okay. Uh, also, let's just get ourselves in the right position. So Harim, is he actually... Yeah, his AC is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'll go ahead. we don't need to worry about him too much. I just want to have a look along the edge here. See whether we've got anything sticking out. Oh, we got some plants to have a look at. Some herbs. That's fine. We'll have them. I like the person who's just walking around in circles. I think the that's Lindsay. Okay. So, perception as we walk in. So, yeah, there's nothing to look at around the edges, but it looks a bit... Uh, actually, there might... Ooh, that's all frozen. I did quick save, which is always a worry, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, looks like you can't actually hear anything from the game right now. It means we might have just crashed. Uh, Kingmaker.exe is not responding. Well, uh, wait. I can still hear the music. Oh no, you can hear the music. Uh, it does look very. Yeah, you know what? It looks like it's crashed. Right, well, you know, that's what I get for... Oh, looks like Steam crashed. Oh, that's why it crashed. So it didn't actually crash. Steam crashed behind it, which then crashed the game. Okay, so we have to cra crash out of Steam. This is a great episode so far uh, in terms of that. So reload Steam. There we go. Reload Steam. So, you know, I was blaming it on Kingmaker, but actually it looks like it was entirely Steam's fault. So, you know, there we go. Uh, installed, what, what do we want to play? Not Hitman, not Pac-Man, Pathfinder, there we go. Perfect. Right, yeah. Apart from Pathfinder, I just play Crusader Kings and games with man at the end, apparently. But, you know, that's fine. Alright, uh, load up, load up, load up. There we go, first time loading. This is so much quicker. Like, this used to take a good five minutes. If 
If this is how it used to be, I, I would just leave and come back. There we go. We'll load the quick save that I made, which actually looks like it went through, which kind of confirms that it was Steam that crashed because, um, well, you know, the quick save worked. Anyway, let's see what it does once it loads up. There we go. That's pretty good. I'll go ahead. Uh, I want to grab that bag. I also want to do perception. Let's have a look at this well, first. It is done. There are tracks in the dirt. Numerous people on foot passed through the gate of the valley not long ago. Okay, so we're not the first ones here. Also, what's interesting about this is I just remembered that, uh, yeah, Harim has really high perception, which is very nice for, what, for where we're going. I don't need to save after doing that. Like, my save fi trigger finger is very happy. So that's just the tomb. I just want to see if there's anything else around the edge. Oh, we got this. Yellowed ancient bones lie scattered amongst the sparse grail and shale. A grass and shale. Quiet. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking. So literally just a way in that uh, is taking far too long. All right, let's go in then. So we the either need to have the here. three incense burners, which we have, or we need to uh, summon darkness. So let's try the incense burners. A towering gate blocks your path. The pillars flanking the gate are carved from the mountain itself, and both the gate and pillar rise so high they are obscured by the mists above. The gate is sealed, but you see no lock, not even a handle. Study it. The gates are covered with ancient inscriptions and disturbing depictions of worship and sacrifice, but the inscriptions are far above eye level, so much so you have to take a few steps back to see them. In the centre, where two gates meet, there is a circular protrusion. Set into it are three black hooks. Okay, let's uh, use Knowledge Arcana to translate the inscriptions. Many of the words are lost to time and weather, but you make out some glyphs and symbols you recognize. from, And from there, manage to piece together the inscription. In darkness the doors open, in murk the truth reveals itself, in gloom that death seeps into the halls. Okay, decipher the images. Depicted on the gates are three cyclopses. Great giants clad in ceremonial garb. They stand before an image of the gate, which is open. Each cyclops is holding aloft a lantern that looks to be a cyclops' skull. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's examine the circular protrusion. Your initial idea that some ancient lock lay in the centre of the gate proves wrong. The gate is sealed, a solid uh, wall with neither lock nor latch nor keyhole. Perhaps the gate was not meant to be opened. It was meant to seal something inside. Let's study the hook set into the protrusion. The gate seems built for giants and their kin, but yet three small hooks are set into the circular protrusion in the gate, five feet off the ground. If this gate was meant for giants, it's odd they set the look so ho hooks so low. Peering closer, you see the hooks bear traces of soot and ash. That's where the incense needs to go. Right, step back. Uh, let's examine the gate pillars. Massive pillars rise up high into the mist. You can barely imagine the power it would take to build this gigantic structure. A mere touch of my master's power. He commands armies, slaves, servants, shapes mountains to his will. This is a monument to his reign, and his reign will come again. Okay, left pillar. The pillar stands on the windward side, so it's more weathered than the rest of the gate. You can faintly make out the remains of inscriptions that once used to cover the pillar, but they are so faded by wind and elements as to be unreadable. But the right pillar we can read, right? I said, I did, I'm trying to look at the two pillars and see if that actually kind of looks like that. I'm, I'm thinking I'm just imagining it if it does. I think they're actually the same thing, but mirrored, but whatever. Uh, study the right pillar. Time and weather have failed to destroy the bass relief that rises from the foot of this pillar and winds its way up into the mist. The pillar is covered with intricate geometric patterns, images of lotuses and other flowers, mysterious figures performing strange rituals. The attention to detail is amazing. You need hours to examine every image. A step away. I'm not going to light the... Well, see, yeah, I'm going to light the incense burners. Yeah, the other options are all just ways in. Let's use the correct one. Uh, yeah. The Cyclops believed that the soul leaves the body through the eye socket. The incense smoke is supposed to symbolize the souls departing to the afterlife. Thank you, Jubilost. I knew it was worth bringing you along for a little bit of extra knowledge. Clouds of smoke billow from the lit incense burners, streaming out through the Cyclops' eye sockets. You quickly realize the smoke isn't rising. It's encircling you, engulfing you all around into, 
until all around you is darkness. Then we get teleported. Ooh. No, the door opens. Well, if it was meant to seal something inside, well, we've royally messed up. Anything here? Oh, it's the way forward. Okay. Well, we'll grab what's in here. It is an uh, ancient scrap of script covered leather. Covered Chat leather. Like right. Um, also, just Patience. thinking here. What you uh, I'm listening. Yeah, so that didn't count as a rest, what we did before, but we do have Restoration Lesser that we can cast on uh, Lindsay here. So it's actually worth casting that now before anything else happens. Does that actually give her anything? Like, any stats back? Uh, It should have, but it looks like it didn't. Oh, okay, well, quick save. Time to head in. Is it taking us back to the world map? Really? I mean, that's kind of what it implied, but at the same time, really? I don't know. Let's see where we're going. It did take us back to the world map. Ah, so we're going to Vordekai's tomb. I see it's still a little bit in here. Oh, wow. There's so many mountains. I'm so happy we got the faster mountain travel, otherwise this would be awful. Random encounter, scripted on the road. Okay, well, what we got here? I'm guessing some sort of fight would, well, we'll see. Maybe just the raven to talk to? Okay, interesting. Game auto-saved. No reason to auto-save myself. Why would I do that? Ooh, knowledge worlds. Well, let's have a look. Applause, please. The tablet is covered with the names of dead Cyclops is buried in the Valley of the Dead. The list ends with the statement, May, the Vor May Vordekai's army rest in peace and ashes until it rises on his demand. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. The other one said the same thing, and that's a Cyclops. Okay. Get him. Repent. Ooh, there's more coming down here. This, this, this one, Harim, this one. Amiri, I get that you're going for that one. That's fine. One of those, you can't haste? Oh, interesting. You've already used all your spells. Wait, how did you use all your spells? Oh, is it because her... Oh, it's because her stats were too low to have any spells at the start of the day. Her, that's where her charisma was too low. That was also... Uh, that's the pet negative for having low charisma. Uh, in which case, um, the first spell that's cast has to be our haste. Uh, and she can cast her Blessed, because that's not a spell that's directly relied upon on her. Let's go. Do we want to take a step back? Where's Harim? Harim's struggling to walk down the stairs. Uh, we want to take a step back, as does Jubilos. Jubilos, attack that one. We will also attack that one. That's fine. Harim should be fine to attack the Your Cyclops. Also, low. having the extra channel uh, positive energy damage on dead is actually pretty good for us. Uh, Lindsay, Serves start right. start shooting that one. Yeah. You deserved it. We're good. Right. Uh, actually, I want to rest after this, so let's use our sense vitals as well. Uh, yeah, Lindsay, I kind of forgot you weren't using your crossbow. There we go. Uh, Harim is about to be dead, so let's get heals going. Could be worse. Another heal. Be. Uh, Harim, maybe use some channel uh, negative energy. There we go. That's very nice. Uh, more healing, please. Right. We don't have the tankiest party in the world, but damage-wise, we're pretty good. Especially as uh, we weren't actually using any kind of damage. We were just using, uh, well, we use magic missile, which isn't really damage, is it? Uh, we'll grab that one. That's fine. We'll also grab whatever this one has on it. That's also fine. Are we clear? How big is the area? Yeah, we're clear, I think. Probably. Ooh, one more Cyclops. Two more Cyclopses. 
Uh, that's okay. Enemy near. Heal. Uh, you're just heading into Miri. That's fine. Uh, I want you to spam that ability. What a waste! No, it's not a waste. It's the correct move. Please don't second guess me. Um, scorching ray. Let's forward. set that up. Yep. Uh, you're going forward. Right. Uh, one of those. Go. This is where I step in. Won't kill me. Uh, yeah, spam that. Repent. The heal. Um, Scorching Ray is going to hit. Yeah, that's good. She's dead. Um, Tristian, don't you do that. Breath, breath of life. Breath of life. Survive. I, I brought, I brought her back. That's okay. Heal. It's dead. Okay. That's fine. Okay, this is going to be um, interesting as we go further in. Uh, hopefully a rest will put us in the right situation. Got some more knowledge worlds. I do want to build a campfire here though. Yeah, we can do that. Did that build? That did build. Nice. Let's rest. It seems to let us rest. That's probably what this area is designed for. Uh, guard wise, um, I think we want that. Yeah, we want that going on. And then Haggis is Harim's favorite. We could go Haggis. Yeah, we'll go with Haggis. That's fine. It's also got a low DC, so we pass automatically. It's quite nice. Okay, carry on. Lander Lebeda, he's a shady fellow. I wouldn't risk setting out on a crusade with him. You're just realizing that now! I don't know what's more amazing. The fact that you see this about him right away or the fact I can still be surprised by people's naivety. Hmm, okay. They're saying don't trust Lander? Like, outright? Interesting. I mean, Lander so far hasn't betrayed us, like, openly. I mean, he left, but, you know, that's not really betraying. That's just Apart not wanting to do what we want to do. The Master of Death will call out all... Uh, though, will call out those who is... Bear who... Who, that should be those who are buried under his feet. Those who rejected Vordekai will become servants to him. Great Vordekai will unite sworn enemies with a common afterlife goal, implementing his will. So the Cyclops is um, obviously, claws, you know, fought against him. The list of clans and families has seen better days. Someone cracked the tablet and scraped off carved names. You notice the word written over the neat lines. It reads traitor. Okay, yeah. So, obviously, there was a Cyclops Civil War with Vordekai involved. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't need anything else. We can just carry the uh, enchanted Great Axes in the hopes that we can sell them eventually. That's fine. Right. Let's head out. Uh, hopefully. There we go. We uh, stop here, or are we good? We're good. Yeah, Vordekai's tomb. That wasn't too tough actually getting here, especially as we're a little bit weaker. But the fact it's got a tomb and it's got this uh, like image definitely implies we got some puzzles happening. Maybe even some switch puzzles, which fills me with a sense of dread. Let's see. Search his tomb. It is large. It is a tomb. Okay, that's all we know about it. We have high perception at the front, which is good. We should be able to spot traps. We got some dead bodies as well. Okay, these look like orc. We got an orc and a couple of those that looks like barbarians, right? Dead man's face is frozen in terror. This corpse lies in an unnatural position. His arch, his back arched, his fingers uh, clutching at his throat. Okay. This doesn't seem great. Got perception. Strange holes, a vent perhaps leads somewhere underground. Ah, so poison. That's all that went in here. I'll go ahead. We do have a neutralize poison spell. Oh. The raven's lethal call echoes off the walls. You came, gnome, past the ancient gate. The rue, the valley of the dead. You've struck down all who stood in your path. Despite the danger awaiting you, you still came. My master knew you'd be a worthy servant. 
One more step, gnome. The sanctuary of my master lies beyond. Accept your fate without fear, and Vordekai will be merciful. But remember, once you open the door before you, there's no turning back. Hmm. I'm ready to meet your master. Go forth, gnome. May your death be intertwined with the ecstasy of the suffering never-ending. Quack, quack, quack. Right, what we got here? A button? Ooh, ooh, okay, the door shuts. Poison comes into the room, yeah, 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 yeah. Knew that was happening. So, straight away, if this is poison, then neutralized poison him. seems like a good option. Do we have an and AoE neutral? We have an individual neutralized poison. We can also, just very simply, before combat know. starts, do a dimension door over here. Who will prevail? Uh, oh dear. Alright, what kind of poison is it? It's just a fog, okay. That's fine. Um, Tristian, uh, I'm gonna need you to head out here. Probably just attack. I see, no, probably want you to heal, but I need you to be like over here. We're obviously, yeah, just chucking in fire, fire. Lindsay, buff, followed by haste buff on Karim, who is gonna move his way forward. Yeah, go. <laughs> Heals need to start happening soon. Yeah, spam heal now. You forced my hand. That's fine. Uh, I could get her to cast that on someone a little bit further forward now, like Tristian. Yeah, let's do that. We're chucking in fire. Although, do we, is this the fire we want to chuck in, or do you want to chuck in like a fire ball back here? Fire ball definitely hits more. I say I think we probably want to just chuck in burning arc. Yeah, burning arc seems better. Spam that for just now. Go. Karim, mm, do I send you into the fog or do I just leave you at the front? I leave you at the front. This won't kill me. That's okay. We chucking in fire yet, or are we still holding off on that whole fire? You gonna attack? Never fly. Ah, uh, he, he wasn't attacking. That's definitely a problem. So she's dead. Not good. Harim is gonna stand at the doorway, casting his spell. Actually, yeah, cast the same same one. I'll try to make this swift. Double kill undead. This isn't great for us, but it's definitely okay. Get a little bit of a bless going. The AOE is lovely. Alright, another one. Wait, they both did... Wait, that's fine. Did, wait, did the damage really do anything there? Doesn't look like that did anything. Um, yeah, that looks like it did absolutely nothing, right? Are these not undead? Zombie Cyclopses. Um, yeah, I thought they were undead by the way they look. Un yeah, they're level 12 undead. So why did that do no damage? Any ideas why that did no damage? Um... Uh, undead creatures in a 30 foot radius. Um, they half damage. It doesn't say that they shouldn't take no damage. Like, they took no damage from that, right? Yeah, they took no damage. That that looks bug to me. Uh, yeah, that, that looks bugged. Maybe it's because they're part fighter and the part fighter is what it was. But then the back one should still have been hit, right? Because they're undead. Or maybe they don't count as undead for some reason. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, they don't have an immunity to it. Yeah, I don't understand why there was just no damage, but whatever. We st we have more. We have plenty of damage coming in. There we go. That's more like it. Harim. Well, we'll see what the next one does. I did nothing again. Yeah. So there's no point in him using that spell. Just don't use it. So it's come to this. Just attack. Harim? Again, d did nothing. No point in him using that spell. 
Nice, three dead. Only, uh, only Amiri has dropped on our side. Is there any way we can get around this poison? No, it looks like you have to go in there if you're going in there. Okay. Right here, my friend. Um, I'm gonna need you to raise dead on Amiri. Just do it. Oh, he doesn't have to go into the circle. Well, that's very nice. Get out of there, Miri. Miri. Well. I need you to get out of there. Why can you not move? Hmm. Um. Heal by Can't Tristian. It's like she can't Here leave the fog for what, some reason. See. Uh, no, I don't see. I'm gonna quick save and reload. Because that seems like she can't move. Wait, the quick save didn't work? Or it has the wrong picture? It looks like it just has the wrong picture, right? Unless it's quick save too. Um. It is, I don't know, it looks like it's quick saved. Well, no, it looks like it's quick. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Save and let's try that again. Quick save one. Let's go for that. That looks better now. Yeah, yeah that looks better now. Yeah, when even the quick save's a little bit janky, like look at, looking there, it's like time to just reload and see what we got. Amiri, can you leave now? Yeah, she, she can move again. Nice. Uh, we don't need any of that. That's fine. I need a challenge. You need a heal. Confide in me. But that's okay. We have multitudes of heals for you. Right. That was pathetic. That was absolutely 100% pathetic. You heal. Also, uh, can you have a, a, a shot at trying to heal her? Yeah, let's see what we go for here. I mean, if your channel energy is not going to be used to hurt them, we might as well use it for channeling energy, right? Disarm it. Anything else? No, that was pretty good. I'll go ahead. Okay, so we beat challenge number one, which was poison room. I'm positive I found something. I'm guessing challenge number two, number two is trap field. Applause, please. Yep. Was the path is clear. Harim's fantastic perception is amazing here. Yeah. That with Applause, Lindsay please. means we're pretty much going to disarm everything, which I like. Another trap there. I don't like surprises. Pretty much. Anything is possible. So How about you using that. stealth successfully? Is that possible? Enemy near. No. No, it is not. <laughs> Why would you just run into the trap you know is there? Are we running away? We are running away, aren't we? Yes. Jubilost can attack. Okay, that's fine. I uh, get a heal going. Oh, Amiri ran away as well. Um, frightened creature. It's for a minute we're frightened. Oh my god, that's so long. That's ten rounds. Okay. That was good damage, but, you know, it's 10 rounds of being frightened. Lindsay, uh, one of those followed by a haste buff. Hopefully not hitting our frightened ones. Lost. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, um, run. Christian, switch to your staff and go for it. You forced my hand. Jubilost, run. He can attack again. Mm. Okay, well, we well, that's it then on that one. Let's load again. <laughs> There's no, nothing we can do about that, pretty much. Once it happened, it's like, well, we're dead. So we need to fight outside the Banshees uh, I thing, because there's no way to do anything else there. That's fine. Yeah, okay. If we get um, feared for a minute, we're just completely anything screwed. Else? I think losing Valerie is a huge oh, hit to us, actually. I thought Harim was going to be alright, but he appears to be a dead weight, which is what he usually is, but um, I was praising him about a second ago. Oh, there you go. 
Finger of Death, we saved it. Well, that's good, because I imagine it would kill otherwise. Uh, No, okay. That's fine. Not too bad. I don't like surprises. Quick save here. The end draws near. Just reveal yourself. We'll do it the hard way. Everybody, hold. Rim walk back. Apart from Lindsay, who's going to start buffing. Yeah, you can start casting. That's okay. Repent. Uh, in we go. Apart. Maybe a little bit of rage. We'll try a little bit of rage. Uh, maybe a bless as well. Acid bombs. Hitting, hitting, fire. There we go. That's okay. This won't kill me. It might. You never know. Uh, heal. Harim. Uh, I'm also going to get you to heal as well. You survived just long enough for another shot. Fire and bombs coming in. Bomb came in. Fire. Came in. Okay, Amiri. Charge. Nice. It's what she was born to do. Charge. Right, heal. 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 Definitely worried about the amount of stuff that we're using to get through here. But that was actually not too bad, apart from the fact that we had to heal a lot. We do have a lot of health potions. That's the thing I need to remember. If we need to heal out of combat, we actually have a ton of health potions to worry about. This is next chamber, right? Yeah. Okay. How big is this? Okay, that's fine. Poisonous hydras. That's okay, actually. I think we're I think we're fine with hydras. They go down. Yeah, they go down. Definitely. Your Charge. Low. One of those with one of those. Uh, we're gonna chuck. Uh, well, another one of those in there, I guess, and then yes. jubilost attack. Yeah, there we go. Go. Enemy she seems fine. Yeah, she sounds loud, but she actually seems fine. Um, okay. Heal on your next turn. How are we doing with fire? Another turn of it? Okay. More bombs coming in. Little heal. Leading you out of our story. That was a good crit, yeah. Um, I think I want Fire Snake on those two. That's fine. Amiri might be able to get this one. Let's see. The Fire Snake goes off. Slide down for a moment. Amiri missed, which means her rim is pretty much dead. Except for the fact that they didn't really hit him that much. Which is nice. Okay. Um magic missile? A solid plan. Yeah, the bomb should kill. Lost. That's fine. That's reasonable. Harim fell again, but you know, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to him. We have ability... No, it's not... Yeah, we do have the ability to remove some ability damage. Let's maybe do that on Lindsay. See, that didn't work. Again, that didn't work. Interesting. Um, Something's definitely not right about having... Maybe have multiple clerics in the same party messes things up somehow? I don't know. Nice... Big heal. Another one. That's fine. 
Right, grab everybody. Let's have a look here. So, bones and fish scales are scattered on the floor. The fact that these weren't zombies is actually a huge uh, good sign for us. That means that there might that might be the end of the zombie fighting. Underwater stairs. Forget athletics. It. Well, nobody has athletics, but, well, that's fine. We'll take the fail, I guess. I'm going to quick save again, now that we're through. Black and white geometric patterns adorn this cera uh, ceramic vase. Yeah, we'll have those. That's a switch that will open that door. Okay. Is this the same area? It is. Okay. Hmm. Curious examples of prehistoric culture. Uh, this amophoria is decorated with paintings of white lotuses. Okay. So we appear to be not in, like, the defensive area, but this is kind of, like, almost a living area if it's got lots of pottery. The jar depicts Cyclops is engaged in competition, running a race from the looks of it. Yeah, so we're getting culture. The surface of this pot depicts a Cyclops studying a pile of books and a manuscript. I imagine that the area we're moving into is either a talky area or a boss fight. Let's have a look. Quick save. Also, can we rest here? We can rest, but we won't rest. That's what, it's, that's what that rest one is. Okay. It's neither. It's stairs. Let us be careful. The most dangerous of things. Okay. You know, I'm not just paranoid, but, you know, a little bit of paranoia is definitely good. Raven, talkie. I'm impressed. You still breathe. Hmm. You and your master will find I'm full of surprises. So rude and so self-righteous. But where is the confidence behind this show of courage? Don't keep my master waiting. Interesting. Let's carry on. There are more Cyclopses. Well, you know. Surprise, surprise. The path is clear. Do a little turn. We might as well buff before we go in here. Adventures so I'm going to quick save. Down. Let's get some buffs going. So we'll do our last bless and another haste. Why would I try and cast them at the same time? Right. Get him. You forced my hand. My search was not. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Hold, hold, hold. Retreat. Uh, did I chuck uh, okay good. I didn't chuck any of that. That's fine. Um I kind of want you to just hold where you are and then I'll chuck a fireball over the top. Yeah, so fireball here seems like a good option. Nice. Uh, Jubilost is chucking in his stuff. Lindsay's continuing her stuff. Karim, I'm going to turn on Destructive Smite. Amiri, I'm going to wait. Get him. Oh, wow. That's a lot of health lost in one hit. Okay. That fireball is really bad. That fireball is super bad in terms of positioning. That one's so much better. Yeah. I always survive. Okay. Jubilost, your next one, please. Harim's down. That's not good. Jubilost, bomb. I think we're dead. We're dead. Okay. Yeah, this is... Worryingly difficult for us right now. We were told we can't leave, so despite me thinking that perhaps that, well, we did see the door shut behind us. Did I save outside of here? Uh, yes, there was an auto save outside of here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to load the autosave, but not to actually play the autosave. I'm going to load and save it. Because I'm not sure that... If we can't beat it, I think we can beat it with Valerie. Maybe we could beat it minus um, Amiri as well, now that we don't need Barbarians. But yeah, I'm going to save it here. 
So like if we were to switch to Valerie Knock Knock, we would probably be fine as well here. Like people with really good AC. Uh, that would probably be our best way of doing it. I don't think anyone else would be useful. Maybe uh, Ikundio because that gives us an extra character. But then we'd have to ditch someone else from the back line like Jubilost. But Ikundio for Jubilost is kind of a 50-50. And apart from the fact that Jubilost is about a thousand times more useful outside What's of new? combat. Um, What's new is what we're going to spam buffs basically. How may I help? Um, Anything is possible. Bless. The thing is, this isn't even. These aren't tough enemies. Adventures right. Call today. Uh, then one of those, along with one of those. Let us bide our time. And then we can actually start the fight with a fireball. That I think is our best plan. I shall end this suffering. My search was not in vain. Just hang back here a second. Christian, I'm going to need you to spam heal. Repent. Um, just chill out here. Lindsay, anything I want you to do? Probably not. Jubilos, chuck bombs. That's fine. We want to chuck like a... Well, another fireball essentially here. I just want to turn around ever so slightly. So they're there. And my fireball should be here. Yeah, and that hits the back guy as well. Go. That fireball's not going to hit, right? Well, I'll, I'll just re re I'll replace it anyway. That's fine. There we go. Oh, they're standing outside of reach. So Tear I actually need... Apart! Run them in. Pent. Yeah, okay. Means the fireball should really be out there. Uh, are you attacked yet? He's attacking the center. That's fine. Okay. Heal's about to go off again in four seconds. That's fine. We needed to run them forward, otherwise they can't do anything. That was a really good hit. Bomb just went in? Did it hit anyone? Oh, it hasn't left his hand yet. That was good. Very nice. Very nice. Fireball's heading out. Miri's really low on health, but there's nothing that can be done. So the guy in the middle's dead. Fantastic. That's some damage that's missing from their side that they had last time. Okay. Could be worse. Heal coming in. Will be. Definitely will be. Uh, we have another fireball we can place here, which seems like a good choice. Although Jubilos is about to kill that one. That's fine. Where is my fireball coming in? Yeah, but I probably better off fire snaking in the line. That mean where else I don't hit anyone either. for a moment. Eels coming in again. That was a good uh, fire snake. Do it again. Okay. Eel coming in 0 0.2. He's attacking 3.1. Okay, he all came in. Dead. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to take like a walk around like this before you do anything else. Now you can attack. Your yeah. life ebbs low. Charge. I know you're 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 waiting for it. Never mind. He's down. <laughs> okay. Very very tough. Disarm. Else. No, that's it. Oh dear. I don't like surprises. Okay. Applause, please. Ooh, yeah, we'll have all of that. Get the trap. Applause, please. Right here, my friend. Um, once again, I think I want to heal using normal heals. The reason I want to heal using these type of heals because I want to be able to heal in combat. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted my other heals uh, when I did it outside of combat either. Uh, the dismissals I, might be useful, but it's more useful to do this right now. Uh, yeah, cure serious wounds. Quick save. And let's go and grab everyone. Is her con lower? Her con is lower. Is that how much lower? One. Well, you know. 
Not that much lower. Really. Uh, another ancient piece of scrap covered leather. We're definitely getting a story oh, afterwards, aren't we? This is probably Vordekai's story. Quick save. Okay, uh, this is a big-ish room, unless it's heading around this way. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Apparently, we have to open doors. Minus one level. Just Who did that hit? It's just straight up negative level, huh? Share your troubles. Well, this can bring back a negative level, so... And it also gave her three uh, con back. Well, you know, you know that's pretty Check good. Me. I'd say more stairs down. My search was okay. Not in vain. I am quick saving every second. I realize that's a bad habit, but it's also a good habit. If you know what I mean, like bad habit to do it quite as much. Better than doing it never. Let's be careful. Unless you're really good at the game. There's a cycle. There's some cyclopses. This is a this is a kind of throne room, right? The big statues either side. No. Yes. It was a big room, if nothing else. Anything else? Okay, there are several barely visible scratches on the wall. Okay. Anyway, on this bas relief, a cyclops clad in ceremonial robes raises a luminous sphere aloft. Oh, okay. So I was saying, like, I imagine kind of half cir half half um glass circle kind of thing, but this luminous sphere, yeah, okay. As being the Oculus, that's kind of, it's like a crystal ball, basically. The Oculus of Abaddon, a gift from the Horseman of Death, at the feet of the Cyclops call numerous people who kneel or prostrate themselves before him. But instead of, like, being a thing that sees the future, it's kind of a thing that controls people, dominates the mind. At least that's what I'm getting. Or it's just really powerful and they've, like, given up. Okay, that's a lot of money. This is a really big room, is clear. so it implies to me there's either going to be fighting from all sides, or there's going to be like a throne at the end. Nothing. I'll go Nothing? Ahead. So this room was purely just, hey, do you want to find out about the Oculus? There you go. Oh, okay. After trekking through the gloomy dungeon, we finally arrived at a heavy stone door, decorated with lots of fancy carvings. As soon as we touched it though, we heard a click from within the walls, followed by a suspicious noise above our heads. A heartbeat later, before we even had a chance to guess what was happening, some rusty hatches opened above our heads and murky water from the river began flooding the room. The room filled rapidly, threatening to trap us in a watery grave. Along with the water, sand and mud from the riverbed poured in, as well as some of the underwater plants and some sacred fish, oh, scared fish, that weren't fast enough to escape. It can be hard to keep your cool in a situation like this, but while some of us were praying to their gods or complaining about not having time to finish Galarian's next great novel, the others tried to. Um, open the door. Okay, that's got a high chance. Perception, find a mechanism, or shut the healing uh, hatches. Well, is 480, well, what we're going to do is trickery. We're going to open the door. Applause, please. Failed to open the door. Our attempt, by the way, just to point out, she had to roll three or above. She rolled a one. She rolled a two. Okay, yeah, yeah. Our attempts to uh, find the lock and open the door were fruitless. These ancient builders had hidden the mechanism safely inside the walls. Adding to our troubles, fate decided to give us one more thing to worry about. With a large splash, a huge electric eel fell out of the hatches. Above the noise of falling water, we heard strange clicks and crackling as our skin began tingling from slight jolts of electricity. Our heroes trapped, the water level rising, seemingly no way out. And now we had this electric eel to deal with? Maybe it would just fry us. Save us from drowning. No, we need to get rid of it before it was too late. Well, I'm going to intimidate it. We're going to start shouting as loud as we can, we could to scare the eel off. Uh, I think we had zero chance of failing. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Even a mindless river animal is no better than to mess with the stolen land's greatest heroes. The eel decided against staying around such noisy uh, company, choosing instead to hide at the far end of the room. However, the small victory did little to help us solve our most pressing matter, the rapidly rising water. Just when we thought our fate had been sealed, a true miracle occurred. 
Before reaching the ceiling, the water began to recede. Under all that pressure, the ancient masonry gave out uh, all before our air did. After several moments, the streams of water and mud pouring from the ceiling cut off, and drains in the floor opened up. A minute or two later, all the water, fish, the mud, and even an irritated eel had disappeared somewhere into the underground pipes. After brushing the mud off our clothes, we returned to the calamitous, cal calamitous, calamitous door? This time, the door opened almost effortlessly, as though it was mocking us and the trouble it had caused. Behind the stone door was a dark corridor, leading to yet new dangers. Stealing themselves for the upcoming trials, our heroes bravely stepped into the unknown. Okay, so we failed, but we Can you survived. Make it this pose? I need inspiration. Uh, maybe the room they'll attack us from the walls. Yeah, okay. You know, I can't make fun of myself. That takes all the fun out of it, but... What? Yeah, they are attacking us from the walls. Um, okay. Amiri? Uh, I want you over here. Actually, yeah, just hold position. There's no reason for us to charge at them, is there? They need to come to us. They have no way of attacking us. I'm going to use Vine Trap immediately on this priest as well. Actually, no, I'm going to use buffs on... I'm going to use buffs, never mind. I'm going to... I, I use buffs. I still have them, so use them. That's fine. Uh, Jubilost, that's the one I want you to attack, because he's nearby. Don't heal on your first turn, just shoot. You forced my hand. And we are going to use... Well, Phantasmal Killer is no chance, because they're immune to death. So... We could Vine Trap. Wait. What was I going to get? Lindsay wasn't going to Vine Trap at all. Yeah, we're going to Vine Trap. Hold? Like I told you to? I see walk over here. Oh, I need to path her right. She can't find a way around. Oh, wow. Amazing. They are coming in. Charge. Uh, I don't like what's happening to us here. Uh, I need you around this side. That's not the best way around that side, but okay. Become as dust. We're all dead. Okay. <sighs> right, load the quick save. We get another shot at the uh, story, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Let's see. Um, we want to turn around before we enter the story, don't we? Grotus awaits us. So ideally, we want something like this. So Harim and Amiri. Why shouldn't brag about a big sword if they can't carry one? Us, like close to the. The switch. Anything is possible. Lindsay behind them. Jubilost behind them. Something Tristian behind me. them. Let us buy So we can now hide. We can hide around that way. Yeah. Quick save. Well, Maybe even like sorry. a little bit over here. This is definitely difficult for us. We're kind of hoping on luck. But no, not you. You. We should prepare. Yes, that that we knew. This one. Open the door. We succeeded! The ancient architects of this pl uh, place uh, certainly weren't expecting their ancestors to uh, try prying the door open while standing knee-deep in murky water, but our heroes did just that and succeeded. With the door open, our group rushed out of the room, closing the door tightly behind them to cut off water. After several minutes, the noise behind the door stopped. Maybe the prehistoric pipes got clogged with mud. Maybe the trap just shut itself off. Either way, we waited for the water to drain out through the cracks in the floor before looking back into the gloomy room that almost spelled our doom. That's where we found the remains of someone who hadn't been as lucky as we had. As the water sucked in mud and fish from the river, it also pooled in the twisted skeleton of some drowned adventurer, still clad in tattered traveler's clothes. The poor soul didn't have anything in their pockets to hint at who they might have been or where they might have come from, but we did find a pouch of coins. Uh, um, after one more uh, look at that scary place, our group carefully moved on, advancing further into the depths of the sepulchre. Who will prevail? So we didn't actually advance. It doesn't matter what it said. Did we get money, though? Yes, we got money, but we got experience. Which is fine, but... Yeah, anyway. Fine. Oh! That's the, hate hey, screw you for trying to cheat thing there, huh? Over this way. Harim here. Amiri here. Actually, Amiri? I need you up this way. I need you to kill it. Harim, I'm... I'm Hoping that you got something good in here. Arkans Aura, maybe? Arkans Aura. Okay. 
hopefully nobody's on Jubilost right now. This one is charging directly at Tristian. Okay. Lindsay. Get some buffs going. Harim, I need you to drop a little bit lower. There we go, he switched position. That's fine. Three are going for Harim. Amiri is about to murder this priest, which is definitely good. Do we want Jubilos to join in? Yeah, why not? Uh, we want to chuck a fireball out this way, though, if we can. We got... Or is it our turn? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Fireball out that way. Buffs coming in. Um... Do we have anything here we want to cast? Any things we think might be useful? I mean, we could cast our Cold Ice Strike at them. I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on if they... That would hit, that would hit us, but if I move out here... I could Cold Ice Strike this way. Repent. No, don't use that. Just wait, actually. Just hold position and wait. Fireball's coming out. That's going to hit a couple. Miri did some damage. She's going to get more um, attacks of opportunity as well. Uh, bombs are coming in. Fireball's coming in. Do I have anything I want you to cast apart from Ark and Zora? Just cast it. Yeah, go, 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 go. Nice damage. You're still coming in this way. That's fine. Um, you've used a spell that doesn't matter. Heal. Right. You're still going for it? That seems fine. Yeah, if we got one attack in Amiri, that might be okay. If she gets lucky crits, we might be able to cheese that. Lindsay, anything I want you to cast? Anything that might be useful at this exact moment in time? Uh, the answer is usually no, but let's see what we got. Um... Sense vitals, maybe? Grease? Must make a successful reflex save or fail? I mean, what's the reflex? Seven. I mean, or go prone. Oh. I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so... Let's try it. Um, Holy Lance. No. Um, that says that it should affect them. I'm going to try this again. It says it should affect them, and I think it might be worth it. Well, I see you should probably heal on your turn, right? Yeah. Where are you heading? You're heading into Harim. Archon's Aura's on him. He could probably heal himself, though. That's Cure Last... Cure Many, Cure Many. Cure Moderate himself. Well, that's probably our best. Unless we got Shield of, Shield of Faith. Yeah, Shield of Faith himself. He's still trying over here. And will be. Definitely will be. Got heal, but too late. Okay. Uh, we need to chuck in more magic. So, like, a fireball. There's her rim. So, like, a fireball here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, the camera keeps jumping. Okay. Oh, there's the stairs up there. Interesting. So she's still alive, which is good. He's dead dead. If he's already dead dead, I'm going to cast my spell here. Uh, and then definitely use that one instead. Uh, Jubilost attack this one. Clever ploy. Lindsay, um, I mean, <laughs> grease him up. Amiri missed. Okay, good start. We got a lot of AoE heading in here on them. Jubilos might die to attack of opportunity though. All my knowledge, all my genius lost. Nice. Fireball's heading out. Another fireball. Wait, Grease is about to drop. Grease drops. Only one failed the saving throw. The DC is 14, but... Okay. Yeah. I mean, DC is only 14. They got good rolls, but... At least one failed, right? Which one fell over? I bet it was the one who's... Now. <laughs> I bet the one who fell over is the one who's dead now. That would be typical. 
Amiri is still surviving up top, though, which is nice. Okay. Uh, fireball? No, you, you're not fireball. You're, I'm, this is fireball, right. Use fireball again. This could kill this one, which might legitimately save us. Okay, Lindsay. I mean, you didn't manage to grease them all up, so... Gotta try that again there, Lindsay. That actually did damage this time. Okay, so that's working this time. Nice. Amiri's still alive, which is nice. Do that again. Okay. Jubilost is dead. Grease coming in, fireball come in. Oh, Saren, Ray. I see that just life. absolutely destroyed. Okay, um... Lindsay, I'm going to need a very bold move from you. All right, run and hold. This won't kill me. She got crit for 114 and is still standing. I mean, that's pretty good, I'd say. Oh, wait, no. So only one of them is standing up over here. Fireball. This way. Two down. Amiri died... The most painful death I've ever heard. We have enough reses to res everyone, by the way. If we can survive, we have enough reses to res everyone. Lindsay, you're alive. I cannot believe. Oh, but cause, is it because they're giants and she's a midget? Uh, I mean, a gnome? Yes, I think midget's offensive. I probably shouldn't have said that. I apologize. Um, but you get what I'm meaning. She's small. Small! That's the word I was looking for. She's small. <laughs> Uh, okay. Another death! Last chapter. Run, 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 run. A miserable last chapter. What's the check? Is it a fortitude? Reese flex partially saves. If the target makes it save. Okay. But we can hold it in position if it doesn't make it save. Do it. Okay, we slowed it, which is definitely a good sign. 2.9 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. 1.2 seconds. Do it. That sped it up. Even though it failed. Wait, it failed its reset save. 2.2. That's fine. Keep retreating, keep retreating, keep retreating, keep retreating. Good fireball. Saved this reflex save, huh? Wait, why would you run that way? What possible benefit could you have to running that way? Okay. Well. We got anything that'll hold it? Ice storm, maybe? It counts as difficult terrain. I might slow it down slightly. Um, I have another fireball, or is lightning bolt going to be better? So it's 10d6. Oh, this one is 10d6. Reflex half, reflex half. It's exactly the same. There, there's literally no difference between these two spells. Okay. Um... Lightning bolt. Well, fireball is more likely to hit if I'm running. So, fireball. Run, 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 run. Okay, that's good. A solid plan. Run. It's down. I did it successfully. Is anybody alive? I'll go in. Yeah. Yeah, there are some people alive, but they're all the way over here. Okay, well that was fun. Uh, I know the episode's going long, but people said that they're okay with long episodes, and it is, you know, the finale of the zone. So, I think it's worth it. Just continue running your way back, don't worry about it. You know what we could do? Share your troubles. Uh, yeah, let's do at least one raise dead on Harim.
next step, uh, we need to raise dead again. Using our raise dead. Uh, our scrolls. We have three scrolls of raised dead. Wow, I'm not very confident, am I? Um, but that's fine. I guess we needed them. Oh no, we got one. We we found a scroll of raised dead. That was it. And then raised dead again. He fell over immediately. Uh, if I. I'm not sure, but I think if I rest, even if I don't get a full rest, I still get the day's spells back. They're falling over in the grease that's on the ground. Oh. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right. Um, resting will take nine hours. The party will not rest. Use rations. Well, when do I get my spells back? I think I got my spells daily, right? Uh, so I think this will give me a spell refresh. It just won't give me the other benefits of rest. So hunting's impossible here. What else? Cooking's disabled? Was cooking disabled here or is that allowed? You cannot cook here, yeah. So uh, the best stealth is Lindsay. The best cooking doesn't matter, so um, we don't need. Well, we do need double HP, but uh, do we even get HP regeneration? I don't know. Maybe you do that, and then you do that. That seems fine to me. Yeah, go for it. I know it said we won't rest, but I'm hoping that skipping time gives us our spells right back, here, my friend. It does not. Okay, well, you know, this is why we make quick saves. Yeah, we have an auto save after. This is why we make quick saves, right? Okay, so I can heal. One more heal. I have one more real heal. Okay. There's the muddy. Oh, there's the grease. No, run away from the grease. Run away from the grease. Grease really strong. Who knew? Okay. Right, um... How may I help? Patience. Please get out of the grease. Although I don't think it actually has the grease in there anymore. That's fine. We have one more Something heal for bothering? Tristian. Which is actually almost enough to heal him fully, but we'll not get into that. Cure moderate wounds mass? I mean, we might as well try it, right? Um... I don't want to use... That one's damage. I don't, I don't want to use damage. Cure light wounds. Cure light wounds. Do I have a cure light wounds math? I have a cure critical wounds still. Serious wounds. Light wounds. Serious wounds. Alright, let's cure serious wounds on Amiri. Let's... Um... Well, cure light wounds on Harim. Uh, serious wounds on Harim. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I forgot we still have these. Yeah, the, the arrows of light. A spell I should probably re replace because I realized it's not very good in terms of damage. The end draws near. All right, everyone, just take a step forward. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Right. Grotus awaits us. Now that I think about it, that, that fight we just had was. See. Everyone's talking. I need to wait. That fight we just had was kind of the end fight of the um, one of the tombs. So given that they made that like a boss fight of one of the tombs, it might indicate it's one of the last fights we have to, or last, um, you know, have to do is in here. On the other hand, it might just mean that this area is even tougher. Which I would believe, given so far. I'm not healing these guys anymore because they shouldn't be hit effectively, right? If they shouldn't be hit, I shouldn't heal them. Um, yeah. Well, that's just 
fantastic, isn't it? I'll go ahead. Do we actually have any spells to hit them with? I shall not fail. I have Ice Storm. Do, does Just Lindsay have any buffs? Try. No, Lindsay has no buffs left. Confide in me. I have one more bless. Lindsay has no buffs. Well, she has core. Inspire Courage. Does he have? New. He still has Alchemist bombs. Okay, so at least we're not out of bombs. Um. Is there anything else we should have here? Is that a reflex save to avoid falling down? Um, that was the one that makes you fall down, right? No. That was the one that makes you fall down. I thought that was it, but maybe that just does a different type? Uh, yeah, it just does a different type of damage. It's not fall down at all. Okay, um, hmm. Um. So, I don't want bombs to not splash. Is it Bomber's Eye I want? I think it might be Bomber's Eye I want to cast here. Yeah, Bomber's Eye. Right here, my friend. Less. Yeah, let's do those. You require my assistance? Take a step back. Let us bide our time. Cast entangling roots on them. Oh wait, and Lindsay? Lindsay the magnificent? Y use that. Lindsay the illustrious. Something more simple like Who will prevail? Does it matter? Maybe Lindsay the indecisive. Okay, everybody, hold position. Repent. Those of you with ranged A weapons can ploy. begin attacking. Ice storm. Go for it. Go. That's nice. Nine sneak attack damage is lovely. A miss, not so much, but that's fine. And what else are we gonna do? That was nice. Yeah, I like it. The ice storm definitely seems to be doing what I wanted to do. We are lagging the game because of the number of effects, but that's just normal. Lindsay, as they get closer, I, I have a new job for you, but um, also one of those, please. That was nice damage. That was nice damage. Lindsay, you got some more greases for me? You do. Fantastic. Okay, they're getting in close, but that's fine. Arim, get him. Amiri, get him. Uh, cast Ice Storm just a tiny bit further back. That's fine. Damage at the back is what I want it to do. That's fine. Uh, another Ice Storm, please. Just stack those. Be worse and will be definitely will be do you have a heal uh we can give you a heal with uh oh wait moderate heal one of these yeah moderate heal harim <laughs> this is fine uh grease okay do we have anything else we're casting ice storm again seems good they're working on moving closer. Oh, we had someone fall over. That's what I like to see. Get him. Still get him though. This is good, I think. Yeah. You can cast that. Uh. Amiri fell over. Well, you know, you just gotta take the good with the bad, right? Oh, that heal only just went off? Okay. Two damage reduced. They're both lying on the ground right now, which is definitely my favorite position for them. Um. Instead of casting Ice Storm, I think you should plan. just attack your attack him normally. Yeah. Serves you right. Mm, okay, that hurt. But not completely. He gets another strike. Good. Bomb's gonna hit and kill. That is a kill. 
Lovely. Now everybody can attack Your the Cyclops if you don't fall over. It's only the priest left. Uh, Jubilost, he's only got two bombs left. This better be the last fight. I'm running out of uh, stuff I can do. Okay. Nice. More, please. Okay. Whew. Well, it's a fight win. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's a fight win. Was it clean? Was it fair? No to both of those, but was it a win? Despite the falling over that's happening right now, I'd say yes, it was a win. Keep healing. Is it possibly the last fight we have resources for? Yes, yes, I would agree with that statement. Um, okay. Harim, you got any spells for me? Yeah, some cure moderate wounds. The more of that. The grease is still there. <laughs> you want to take another shot of that, buddy? Once you stand up. Okay, um, we got anything else here? Yeah, cure, cure critical wounds. <laughs> Just wait for that to, uh, Go away. The fact that they're entangled and they're uh, like greased up, it's definitely a combo that you don't want to run into too often. Yep. Okay, well, he's having some trouble with the standing up part here, so. Oh, we'll just need to chill out. Saving the reflex saves. This is like when we were in the web in earlier episodes. Very similar. Mm, okay, heal. Nice, that's good. That was an overheal though, which isn't good. Right, we need to get out of the grease and then we're good. So head forward. Once we're out of the grease, then we can be fine. We just gotta wait for Harim to make it. And Tristian, I guess. Apparently. So, you wanna take another shot of that, guys? Cleric party, go. I like that it looks like we just face planted to nothing. The path is clear. Okay, we've also made this tomb a lot more uh, nature like than it used to be. Okay, um. Our while we're calls. waiting, I do want to just look at the loot, if that's alright. Nothing, huh? I forgot, we do have some health potions in our bag. That, that's, that's our next backups. We're not, we're not out of heals, but we have health potions. In fact, you know what we should do? I just Quiet. remembered something. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, we have some bombs. Yeah, some acid flasks. Now, the problem is this is always going to hit us as well. But this seems like something that's very worth having him use, given it is good with bombs. I mean, they're not going to do as much damage, but they're going to do some, aren't they? Definitely. Yeah. And if we can cast on the right people, that, that'll still do something. Eh, he fell over again, huh? Wonder when this is all going to go away. How long does my entangle last? Let's have a look at that. It's like one minute per level, so ten minutes of actual time. How long does grease last? Grease is the main problem, isn't it? Oh, none of these are showing up. Oh, it's because there's a... There's a raven here as well. Grease is one minute per level, so ten minutes of grease. Crease up the room. I'm on a step. Harim, Patience. I just need you to take a step, man. He might be out of the grease now. He's out of the grease. We've done it. The most difficult part of this dungeon. Give me a, give me a rest room, please. Ooh, sprinkle with blood. Maybe not. The stone altar is covered with dried black blood and soot. Okay. 
We'll have that. You know, I am going to sprinkle it with blood. I mean, it's an option, right? Minus three con. Cat Pierce's ability, alter. Okay, well, I mean, in terms of people who could lose con, that's us. I don't know why I did Try that. Uh, if I reload, I'll Brace not do that. Yourself. The throne room is near. Are you ready to meet Great Vordekai? Are you ready to accept the gift of serving my master? Is there somewhere to rest before? Uh, yes, I'll put an end to this nightmare very soon. My master awaits. But before you enter his presence, Vordekai has no use for the weak, nor any who beg for mercy. But he sees value in using such souls as heralds for his coming. The question is who is weakest among you? Who should be sent away, disregarded? Pick the weakest among you to fly from here in fear and serve Vordekai in their flight. The great Vordekai will let them keep their lives. But makes no promises after this. It's Lindsay, but I have no idea what you're talking about. If the death of the Baroness is near, my Aram's duty is to follow her down the same path. That honor is mine, rightfully earned. <laughs> Good. I, I like it. It's backup. It's not quite what I was looking for, but it's backup. <laughs> The raven makes no response and peers at you a moment, then calls loudly and takes flight in the darkness. Okay, well. Harim, as you put it, it's time for us to die. And die we will. Ooh, there's some more doors that we can't... Wait, is this a way out? Maybe it's a temporary way out. We've also got more things to sprinkle with our blood. What you, want? you can thank me now. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're out. Hey, yes. uh, where are we? We should prepare. I sprinkled it with my blood. I'm gonna open this. It might be the worst idea ever. That's the throne room, obviously, but where's this lead? That looks like it leads back out. I'm gonna peep Let's it. Be careful. Okay. Because if there's a way to rest, I'll take the... Okay, what the hell is an Astra Demon? It's friendly. That's why I'm confused. A figure lies shrouded in darkness at the center of the room. The stench of decay emanates from it in waves, enough to make your breath catch in your throat. As you choke back the urge to vomit, the figure turns to reveal a misshapen skull with blazing eyes. Who come? Bordecai summoned me. I am here at his request. Hmm, you do not belong here. Leave. Hello. I can't help but feel we got off on the wrong foot. Is he going to be mad if I steal? Ooh, a cloak. Cloak of resistance 3. Nice. I mean, I'm not sure this is... Okay, but I'm leaving. Barbarians? Hello. Who, who are you? The man's voice is hoarse, almost a croak. You can barely make out his gaunt features beneath the tangle of hair and filth covering his face. His wrists are chained and he looks half starred, barely able to raise his head, yet he does so defiantly. I can see you're neither dead nor demon. Release us! Who are you and what are you doing here? We came from New far Numeria, Dugath's group. Have you heard of him? We were scouting fruit hills, found a strange gate, then blackness took us. When we woke, woke, we were here, shackled. What did you see while imprisoned here? Beasts with a single eye, half-dead giants and dead from long time from the looks of them. They used to come and take one of us to who knows what hell. There were many more of us just several days ago. He pauses and frowns, his eyes wild. Hold on. How long have we been here? 
This is Vordekai's tomb. Have you seen him? Once, he friends. Once one of the beasts came here. A cyclops, but not like the others. Thinner, with clothes like a king, but half eaten through, and almost no more than shreds. He ordered us to tell him who we were, and where we were from. I wanted to curse him, spit on him, kill the foul thing twice if I could, but... The man swallows as if, as though choking back his shame. Then I started spilling everything I knew. All I knew of Numeria and Dugath, everything! The man snarls, barring his teeth. Beware that one, he can twist your will with a word. A demon guards the exit. The barbarian clenches his fists. No! Free us and we'll fight with all the strength we have. Hmm. Hold on, I need to take care of something else first. I'm thinking I might release them. Uh, no one has the right to put you in chains, you are free. Free! Free at last! If they just get murdered by the demon and the demon becomes aggroed, I may not be okay with this, but we'll see. If the demon's aggroed, we might not be able to be okay with it. Oh yeah, it's aggroed. Do we eat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we even have anything else here? To fight it with? Okay, so. Energy drain, vampiric touch. We got anything that we can use? I mean, it's alive, isn't it? Phantasmal killer. Fail to overcome the spell resistance. That doesn't say immune, that just says fail to overcome the spell resistance. Keep going for it. Well, it hit it, I guess. It saved the will save, though. Um, we're out of, sp we're out of good spells. Hey, have you tried uh, Ray of Frost? Aim carefully. Actually, you know, given that it's immune to um, our spells, it might just be best to shoot it. Well, not immune, it has spell resistance. It might just be best to shoot it. Uh, although it doesn't have, we don't know if it has DR, it probably does. Actually, just try Ray of Frost, see what happens. Lindsay, uh, send, well, try and grease it up. Um, Tristian, I have a plan. Alright. Are you? Um, you don't look alright, but we'll see. We'll survive. Fail to overcome the spell survive. resistance. Well, that's not a great sign, okay? Um... Over this way. Did grease work? Have you even cast it yet? You just cast <gasps> grease. Okay. It's now got his reflex saving throws times a, mi a million. One of those. Um. Instead of using shield of faith, just cure yourself. The only person who's you hurt it is Amiri. So. Lord, I hope for a moment. Ray of Frost missed. Okay. Well, he's dead. Yeah, so here's the thing about the Astra Demon, right? We don't actually have a way of <laughs> dealing with it, so to speak. <laughs> I don't think we have a way of dealing with anything. <laughs> That's our issue. We can't deal with anything. Okay, well... See you later, barbarians. We might deal with you later. Is, the, is this a rest? Is this a room where we can rest in? No, it's not. Okay. Hey, Astra Demon. You got anything else you want to say to us? Nope. Okay. Um. Well, there goes my hope that he... See, when I saw Astra, I was like, Astral Plane, different plane of existence. Perhaps we could rest. You know, that was where my mind went, but no. No. Okay. Uh, let's open this and head on in. Uh, I see. I'm going to check one thing before we go in here. And that's that I actually have enough space for this recording to continue. Oh yeah, I have plenty. That's good. Let's not worry about it. Yeah. Okay, in we go. The path is clear. There's mobility over there. Actually, now that I've got myself paranoid, I am going to stop and restart the recording. So, quick save. And, right, we're back. 
That way, at least we've got those two hours uh, saved, no matter what happens. So I can mobility here or mobility here. It doesn't really matter, right? Let's Anything just choose else? one. Oh, that's the way back up. Okay. My search was not in vain. Please remove all the traps. Applause, Something please. Lindsay can still do at this point. Anything else? Oh, I don't like surprises. That's so many traps. Lindsay. Applause, please. I hope you're just ready to remove traps. The reason I'm moving Harim forward the is the hopes near. of, yeah, My discovering where the rest found. of the traps are. There we go. Applause, please. There we go. Another one. Applause, please. Now, it did tell us we couldn't leave, but at the same time, there's still an exit. So, else? it might be worth trying. Applause, please. Okay. Ouch. After all that, he still triggered a trap. I don't like surprises. Yes. He I'm triggered still another here. one. <laughs> all right. And not Shield of Dawn. Just heal yourself. Okay. Um. I'm listening. We seriously don't have enough spells <laughs> left. I mean, I maybe should have healed not using his spells, but still. Right. I'm listening. Get the trap. Applause, please. So I don't know what this opens. So I'm gonna have a look down here. Knowledge Arcana check. I failed. This bass relief. Sorry. Uh, depict Cyclops as performing bloody rituals. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Wand of Vampiric Touch. I mean, I do have wands. I mean, that is my next backup, isn't it? I have scrolls. I mean, I guess I just start spamming scrolls of fireball at them. I mean, I say that as a joke, but at the same time, here I am putting on scrolls of fireball and then, you know, Scorching Ray. That's us uh, restocked our spells. We have damaging spells now. There we go. Tread lightly. Throne room. A fight we cannot possibly win. Let's go. I shall end this suffering. The greater dread Damn zombie it. cyclops. Is he alone? No, there's a priest right behind him. Amiri, charge. Harim, hold. He's not living, so we can't do that. We could vine trap him, potentially. Christian, anything? Shoot Repent. it. Lindsay? Buff? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um... Grease? That's going to be so funny if um, it hits Miri. I mean, I'm going to be very mad, but it's going to be very funny. Scorching Ray? Go. Wait, where, where are you casting it? There? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you casting it? On that spot, right? There we are. That's fun. Ooh, camera jumps, but that's okay. Scorching Ray cast successfully. That's uh, doing damage, but looks of it. Okay. Torch Ray again. Destructive smiting. What's it doing? It looks like it's trying to hug Amiri. I'm sure that's not allowed. Um. Who'd get him to chuck? Wait, can I get him to chuck bombs this like that? Has other uses. Hey, if I chuck bombs, it, it doesn't uh, spread. Because he's so large. That looks like he just ate, though. What's he use? Use cleave. That's cleave, huh? Look like any cleave I've ever seen. That's fine. Um, Reese is still casting. 
Reese cast, I guess. He's fallen over. Timber. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter what enemy it is. If it can be greased, we got a chance. Right. Uh, well, these are undead, right? So it doesn't matter if we use heal, because the heal will hurt them. I think. Yeah. Fireball there, actually. Go. We've almost... There's two of them! No! I was so positive. Lindsay, I need another grease ASAP. Right here. Grease him up. And will be. Definitely will be. Timber again! It's working! Ah, this is so stupid. Okay, let's do it. Repent! No, 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 no. Miri, hold. Hold. I'm not even happy that her rim moved, really, but... That's fine. We have more fireballs to cast. Do it. More fireballs. Lie down for a moment. We don't have any other heals that we can cast, do we? Restoration. The cure critical wounds. On a Miri. Yeah. On the one who's going to be alive. A timber again! Okay, um, Lindsay, we get a uh, sense vitals. Fireballs coming in from our scrolls. He's better. Okay. Reflex saves. It seems to do a lot less damage than my fireballs. Is there a reason for that? Uh, doesn't say that there's a reason for it, so... You know? Let's fireball up, you know? It's our way to win the fight. It's our way to win the fight. So, fireball in Greece. Let's do it. Fireball again. Could be worse. And will be. Harim might die, die here. Oh dear, they're standing up. And making their reflex saves. Get them. Crit for 80. That's what I like to see. She's dead. Okay. Lindsay. I'm going to need some more grease. Tristian, do you have anything? Nope. Well. You are a meat shield. <laughs> I hope that you're a good one. Okay. Fireballs. Let's go fireball. Uh, I think I cast it on someone accidentally. There we go, that's better. Two more down from the grease. That's only doing seven damage. It's 5d6 plus 5. But, yeah, still. It's not, it's not, it's not doing a lot of damage here. Fireball again. Do it again. Um, Lindsay can potentially do a lot of damage, actually. You right. Okay. Kristen, I believe in you to stand still. Lindsay, I'm gonna need... Oh, we're out of grease. Oh, dear. Gonna need this fireball to be good. Okay, Lindsay. Well, you know the drill. Next one in line. Juba lost. You got any ideas? A clever ploy. Fireball. Okay. 
Another one is down. Lindsay got hit by something. I think that was a Cyclops. You deserved it. Stabby, stabby. On you go, Lindsay. I believe in you. Sing your song of courage for the last time. Actually, you know what, Lindsay? Switch back to your crossbow. Actually, stay with this. We have anything else we can cast? Um. On the magic missile? I mean, she's not very good with wands, but at the same time, it might work. Let's go. That did some damage. It only shot a single ray. Actually, we're better off just using ma our last magic missile to hit it. To start with. Lindsay, where are you going? Any last wishes? I mean, I believe in you, but where are you going? Okay. We got our attack of opportunity on it. Fortune favors the bold. That's that's my new slogan, you know, it's great. Um scorching rays. I'm kinda more interested to see if I can win the fight at this point. Okay. Go. I mean, we obviously can't continue because we don't have any res scrolls. I see. You know what? Why, why am I using that trash one? Switch, switch it up with fireballs. At least fireball does more than a singular hit of scorch. Although the scorching ray, not maybe. No, the, yeah, it's yes. The fireball must just do the base damage for fireball. Maybe that's what scrolls do: the base damage. Again, Jubilost, shoot it. He can't find a way past. He's defeated by his own stupidity. Okay, okay. I'm gonna fireball again. Let's see if we can do this. Another fireball. We do actually have a. We have another raised dead. But that we can only raise one of them. That's the problem. Is he just running to hit? That would be a bold move. Yeah, that's that's gonna pretty much screw over Jubilost, but um Switch to your long shank bane. Um Ice Storm? I forgot we still have Ice Storm. Yeah, we do still have Ice Storm. I completely forgot about that one. Okay. Um, Ice Storm again? Well, it's not. Doesn't look like that's hitting. Ah, uh, only ah, because it's in the wrong room. I see. AOEs don't go outside the room. Oh, uh, it's probably to stop me doing. Oh, that looks like that wouldn't go outside the room either. Ah, huh, interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it's to stop me doing things like what I did in Dragon Age, where I just uh, sat in like several rooms away and killed enemies with AOEs through walls. Uh, I mean, probably. Let's just try this, right? Magic missile. Shoot. Shoot. Try it. All my knowledge. Two All my damage. Lost. Okay, do it. It failed. Well. Um. Is immune to this, so. Uh, I think we might be dead, despite the best intentions. I mean, one last ice storm, I guess? We're dead. 100%. I require healing. Run. Dead. Okay, hello to the last save. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go run to the entrance and see whether we can uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I think I might end the episode. I'm going to run to the entrance, see whether we can leave and rest. If we can leave and rest, then all good. We leave and we rest and we come back and we're actually able to just destroy this. If we can't, then what I'm going to have to do is off camera run through the entire dungeon with a different party. I think that's the only option. Yeah, that's the only good option. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.